Good evening. Happy Thursday. We are back. I think. Let me pull up Facebook and check. After I put on my glasses where I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. I already see us. Let me get me turned down. Thank you all. Um, I don't see anybody hopping on or else I don't see comments one. So when you hop on, uh, comment, let us know you're here. So it's just not me and Ed chatting backwards and forwards. Yeah, okay, Barbara, I see you. Hey, and Maria. Okay, so while people are hopping on, oh, you couldn't get to it. Sorry, y'all. Hang on just one second. Let me get get ads pulled up. Yeah, mine was trying to eat me. Yours is a little different than mine, too. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think it has the, the delay that mine seems to have, though, but I turned it down for you. Okay, so I missed y'all Monday, but... We've been spending time with some of our grandkids that we don't get to see very often. Uh, they are here at my daughter's for a little while. Um, Grandma kind of got too old to keep them 24-7. <laughs> you know, with all the problems Ed's had and everything, we just have lost energy and everything else. But anyway, uh, our youngest son has three little girls and a little boy, and the three little girls stayed with my daughter this week while my son and his wife went to Italy. So, uh, but we have gone with them all day. She's had them at her house at night, and fed them, gave them baths and breakfast and all that stuff. And we just get to go have fun with them. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, Monday we were at the beach. So I decided uh, she's home with them. No, no, they're not home tonight. They actually went somewhere. But anyway, um, they're not here. So I thought, well, I'll do my Thursday night like regular, and then we'll get back into the routine. Kevin Marie said hi. Hi, Carrie. We did not draw, of course, on Monday. I could have went ahead and drawn, but I thought, we'll just wait and do it Thursday. So tonight, um, what I show you. Kevin Marie says, are you feeling okay? Your voice sounds different. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I, we were just talking about the grandkids, but I hope you can hear me. But. Um, I do feel okay. We, um, I went to bed last night with a little bit of a runny nose, and uh, we took the kids all to the Children's Museum in Houston yesterday, and I got to thinking, oh my gosh, at the germs that probably was all over that place. It was a nice place, but you have to remember um, to use that hand sanitizer constantly because it's a hands-on experience for all the kids. So, I mean, crowded, but they had a blast. They had fun. Uh, now we're just hoping we don't, any of us get sick. But that may be it. It may just be that I'm tired. <laughs> uh, but I'll try to talk up a little bit. So I thought we would draw tonight. And, you know, I told Ed Paul to go. I had to go back and look at the live from last week to remember what the thank you gift was. But it's the houses because you did the hashtag houses. So that's what we're going to draw. Um, I went through today and got all the names. Phyllis Baker says hi. Hey, Phyllis. I went through and got all the names and put them in our blessing bag. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a name. And then, uh, since we only had one live this week, it'll just be this live and those that watch the replay. Monday, we'll, we'll draw uh, for the thank you, the blessing gift. That I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Okay, I got one. Nancy A H L S T R O M Hallstrom, Hallstrom maybe, but Nancy, you are the uh, receiver of our houses, and um, even even if you don't get them before the Fourth of July, which I know is really coming quickly, and you don't ever know about the mail. Nancy, I'm not sure where you live or if I have your address. If I don't, 
would you just uh, send me a personal message, please, with your address? And if we don't see her hop on tonight, um, I will try to contact her. But that is for tonight. Okay, tonight I thought we would talk about uh, printables. I don't know how many of you are uh, familiar with printables, but you can make, just like we take our napkins and we mod podge them on different pieces of wood and on canvas, you can do the same thing with printables. You can, uh, there are tons and tons of free printable graphics out there. Um, I would just, even if you purchase them, I, I put two places in the description at the top that I get printables from. And uh, they're dependable, they're reliable. Um, I'm able to sell what I make with them. And that's the big thing. If you're just making them for yourself, it's no big deal. But most of your free graphics are for personal use only. I would just suggest that if you're going to sell something, make sure you uh, get it from a place that they have okayed commercial use for it. Uh, Stacy at Wilshire Collections, you are able to either join her printable club to where you probably every month get, um, it's probably seven bundles of graphics, um, or you can look at her bundles and buy them per bundle, like $5 a bundle. Um, the other one is uh, Digital Deco Designs, and I believe her name is Catherine. Uh, you can purchase to where she will print them out for you and mail them to you, or you can do uh, a membership, which I believe is about $27 for a three-month membership, and you can download as much as you can download in that three months. Then you can cancel if you want to. You just wouldn't get her new things as she adds them to that. She has a ton of things. But I would suggest that you check out both of those places. But like I said, you can go to Etsy and just uh, type in printables for decoupage. And you will get a lot of different, I feel like I'm going to call, you're going to get a lot of different people that you can buy per printable. Just if you plan to sell them, make sure you check and make sure it's for commercial use. Ed does have a question. Thanks much, Philip Brubaker, for the stars. Oh, thank y'all. I'm still not used to getting those. That's exciting. <laughs> I told Ed I kind of felt like a big fish now that we can get stars. <laughs> okay, so tonight we're going to talk about printables, and I'm going to show you several. And that is um, part of what the freebie is for tonight. Um, I'm going to show you. It's also going to be some napkins and some uh, what I did. I have a whole stack of of patriotic napkins, and I just purchased these a week or so ago that I thought were so cute and so neat. I'm going to show you uh, how you can take one of the palettes from the Dollar Tree and make a really cute thing with that. But I'm just going to, y'all know I love this one, I love this one. I'm going to just throw a bunch of my, my um, patriotic napkins in, and with a couple of these, and I'm also going to give you, I'm going to send you two blocks uh, already painted white. These are the ones that I put a, napkins on a lot, but you can also put printables on it, and I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. You're going to get one of the palettes that we're going to put this flag on, and it looks really cute on there, but you're going to get one of those, and then you just decide what you want to, you can you can decoupage anything on that. But that, and that's the services you're gonna get. Plus you're gonna get one of these. Uh, I haven't opened these. I bought these from um, Walmart. And it's a set of three. And they were, it's three panels. And I think they're about five by five. There's no price on it, y'all, but it was, it, it wasn't real expensive. It was maybe like $5. But you're going to get one of these panel, panels, pantles, <laughs> chalk it all up to being tired. So it looks like it's like five by five. Yeah, maybe even five and a half by five and a half. But it's just a little panel, 
that you can use for a tear tray, you can use on your mantle, you just, it, it doesn't set it by itself, I don't think. Well, it does if you're careful, but I would prop it against something. But you're gonna get one of those, two of these, one of the palettes, a bunch of napkins, and then some printables that I'm gonna send you. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these two tonight to show you. Okay, I wanna show you first, uh, we need to paint this because here's the flag that I did with this napkin, okay? And you can see how it, it's really rustic looking. Uh, mainly the reason it looks like that is because I did not paint my, pa my palette board. So when you don't paint where there's white, it comes through more of a beige instead of the, the white. So we're gonna paint this one white and then we're gonna look at the difference in them. But I'm gonna show you how to do that. I have this on my tear tray um, and it's just, and like I said, these are from the Dollar Tree. So we'll, we'll compare that in a few minutes, but we're gonna have to paint this first. You are actually gonna have to talk to me for a minute this time while paint dries. But, um, and then we're going to use a printable on something else I'm gonna show you. So I hope y'all have had a good week. Uh, Debbie, you're catching me live. This is not replay. There may not be a live button showing, but we are live. I see one. Uh, so, I didn't give you your mystery word. And those of you that are new, um, I give you a mystery word every week, and that's what you put hashtag and the mystery word. And then I will go back and pull names from that and uh, put the names in my blessing bag, and that's what we pull from for our thank you gift. But uh, this week, it's printables, hashtag printable. Either printable or printables, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm just gonna paint my little palette board white, because I wanna show you the difference in the flag, is if you paint it white or if you leave it the tan color. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, I wanted something, uh, no problem, Debbie. I just want you to know you weren't watching the replay. Thank you for being here. Okay, your your word is printable. <laughs> yeah, I saw Barbara got close. Karen Marie said, tell us about the fun y'all had with the grandkids. That way we won't be bored while we're watching. <laughs> but... <laughs> True. <laughs> well, let's see. The little boy didn't come. They um, got a babysitter for him in Mississippi because they had they have someone take care of uh, their animals anyway, and they wanted to keep him in daycare so his routine wasn't messed up. Uh, and he's three. Uh, three little girls. Of course, my daughter has three kids too, and two of them were with us, so basically, well, Emma's already, she's in college, so she was an adult with us yesterday helping. And Lainey's older, Lainey's eighth grade. But the three little ones were, uh, let's see, they're going into kindergarten, second grade, and fourth grade. So they weren't, they're not babies, but uh, we had a good time. Um, Ed went with them. I had a meeting in Houston Tuesday, and he went with them to uh, what we call the Sea Center, uh, where it's got a bunch of turtles and fish and uh, stuff like that. Actually, they got a bunch of big ponds where they raise red fish to re to put back out in the wild. Okay, I'm gonna paint it that white. I'm gonna put it over there. Now I'm trying to decide. I think I want to paint my my board white also. So y'all get to watch. We're gonna decoupage while these are drying though. But I am gonna go ahead and paint this. Now I'm just gonna paint. No, I wouldn't have had to paint the board. Okay, I'm going to it anyway. Normally, when you, my paper, I have a program on my computer that I can resize these printables. So I resize the, the printable I'm going to use to the exact size of this board. So when you're using paper like that, printer paper, 
you your beige would not show through normally but I am going to show you how to do another printable on this so that's okay doesn't take long this paint to dry and I'm just using the um, Waverly white anyway so we took them to the beach um, and we didn't go till oh, probably what five o'clock five thirty something like that so it you know sun was still out for a long time we stayed until like 8 30. um we couldn't build a fire on the beach or anything because we're in a firm band so they didn't get to do marshmallows and s'mores and stuff like that but they didn't get blistered either so it's that's a good time to take them to the beach and then yesterday ed didn't go to the children's museum he would have hated it <laughs> there were so many kids there from like day camps and daycares. You see shirts of different colors and then here comes this whole group of about 25 kids. And you better get out of their way. Because um, they weren't polite. <laughs> it was very crowded yesterday. But like I said, the girls had a really good time, didn't really want to leave. But that was fun. And we have not seen them today. Today was a day to kind of rest up and <laughs> rest up, try to rest up for us for sure. But um, y'all know how it is when you're crafting. Um, I had to spend today cleaning off the two beds in my spare rooms uh, because they're coming, they're flying in tonight to Austin and they'll be here tomorrow to get the girls. So tomorrow night they'll stay with us. Well, they had to have a place to sleep. So. And my daughter spent the day, I think, doing laundry for them. But um, that's pretty much what we've done. They're ready to see their mom and dad and their brother and get back to Mississippi. But we don't get to see them too often. It's like a 12 hour drive. And, you know, since Ed's had his heart problems, we just can't hardly do it. We have to take two days to drive there. So, but we are going in November. We're going to do our Christmas at Thanksgiving at their house. So, okay, so those two things I painted white. Now, one of the, the digital, let's see, digital deco designs. This is one of the printables that she had this month. And it's the uh, America the Beautiful and then all the graphics to it. And I'm going to take it and Mod Podge it on a just a canvas board. You can get these at the Dollar Tree or you can buy them in the pack at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I like them because you can just take a picture frame, take the glass out, fit this, this piece. Now see, they're not the ones that are thick. It's not the thick, it's called a canvas panel. Well, I have already put Mod Podge on it. So we're actually going to use this piece this piece and I'm going to do the iron on and I think let me check my size here I may need to do a little bit around the edges because it's not going to fit exactly it's going to be close the, the top and the bottom but let me show you how you can let it have it all blend in I'm going to take my uh, water pen you can just take water or you can just tear it now, this is not going to, um, to be as fast as your napkin. So you could just tear it if you want to. I could do that. Because you kind of want it to blend in with the white on your uh, canvas. I could leave some white, or I don't have to. You can go and, um, like you could tear it this way, which is faster than the water pen, honestly. The water pen works better um, for your napkins, for sure. So we're gonna just kind of tear this and make a mess. What's wrong with scissors? Well, they cut straight. You don't want straight. See, it's different. Ed would want straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
This gives a character add. Yeah, you always fuss at me when I have character. That, was... <laughs> that kind of torn up character is not always good on people. Let's see, we're just going to make it real rustic. Okay, so it's already got the Mod Podge on it. So I'm going to tear a little bit more off the bottom. But this is one of the designs from... This was just kind of like a freebie that she put out this month. Um, and I said it was Digital Deco Designs. <laughs> Ed don't care, Marie says Ed don't like rustic. Ed don't like rustic, Ed don't like different. So I guess I'm boring, I'm not different. <laughs> Okay. Now, I, I had put Mod Podge all over the thing, so I'm just going to kind of make sure I sort of have it centered, and I do. So we're going to put our parchment paper on, and then we're just going to if you've never tried this technique, I encourage you to give it a try. And you know, in crafting, there's really no mistakes. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. And this works for larger pieces like this. It works wonderful not to have bubbles. What it does is it reactivates the um, Mod Podge. And if you're using it in your house, and it's not going to be outside, you don't even have to feel anything. And see, just that quick, we've got just a real cute, could go in a frame. It could just be uh, put with, um, you know, other, your floral things that you did. And it's just as smooth as it can be. But that was the um, America the Beautiful. Of course, it's been, now, this is really white, white. If you don't like that, you can take, I don't know if you can find it. Um, there's some stuff that you, distressing ink. Look out there on the shelf, probably same place, close to where the wax and stuff is at. They're little square boxes that say distressing ink. I didn't think about that, but if you don't want it this white, you could take some of this Distress Ink, or you could use the uh, Waverly Antiquing Wax. They should have a little uh, makeup sponge. Let me check these while he's doing that. Okay. I'm going to set that right there. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, I think him, maybe, is it Tim Holtz maybe that makes the little distressing ink things and then you just take a sponge or a brush and just distress the edges of it. Okay, so I think we have, our paint is dry and you know I should have torn off that silly thing in the back first. So here's our little palette that we're going to take, and I know something else I didn't get, but that's okay. Actually, look at this napkin. You actually get six flags on it. Isn't that cool? So let's cut off one of the flags. And I'm just going to cut it right here. And it's a, it's a fairly thick napkin. And I'll let you know in a minute, I do not remember if it's two-ply or three-ply. You always want to make sure that you get that those plies away. And I also didn't, didn't bring any tape. I think I got it in. He knows where the tape is, I know. Okay. 
usually can just take a little piece of tape and pull back the plies. I believe it's three ply because it looks like there's another one on there. And if you don't get all the plies off, then your top ply, yeah, three ply, uh, your top ply is not going to adhere. The bottom ply will stick to your Mod Podge, but the top won't. So let's kind of see how we're going to place it. Probably like that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Mod Podge on here. I got these flags, and I, to tell you the truth, I don't remember where I got them. I think I ordered them off of Amazon. If anybody's interested, I can look it up. Um, but it wasn't anywhere local. I either got them on Etsy or Amazon. But it's a pack of like 50. It's a big pack. Um, I believe it was Barb from the Shabby Tree that I saw use the napkin. And I really liked it. It wasn't like anything I had, so... And you know, you don't have to, you can either let this dry and use the iron on method, or, let me get this up, you can, it's fairly small, I'm going to try to put it on while it's wet, we'll see. You know, your napkins are very um, thin, so we're going to see what happens here. Because I really don't care if it has a few wrinkles and bubbles. I just mainly want you to see the difference in the, how it quite. So we're just going to tap this on like a brush. And then I'm going to show you how I did Oh, I think Phyllis was talking to Carrie about lods since she's got home. I haven't um, seen Carrie do any lods since she's been home. All right, I'm just going to take my scissors and right where the, the um, palette has the holes, I'm just going to kind of cut the napkin right there. Then we're going to let it dry before we um, take off all the edges. And it is going to be a little, have a few wrinkles in it. If you don't want any wrinkles at all, then do your palette just like we did the, um, what was that thing called? The canvas. Let it dry and then iron it on. Okay, so we're going to let that dry before we do the, um, golly Molly, what is it? You get on a live and words just, before I use my edge, you're not helping me here. <laughs> before I scrape off the edges, what, what the sandpaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you lost me I lordy okay so now let's work on this one and this I've got several here I want to show you remember here's the flag oops here's the flag that was done without painting it and then this is what this one's going to look like painted so you see the difference and your napkins are very thin so Normally, I always paint white when I'm going to use a napkin uh, because I, you know, unless I want that old vintage look. And then sometimes you would even stain the thing. All right, so I'm going to show you a few of the printables. This is the one that I resized that I'm going to put on this board. So it won't need anything else. It's just going to 
go, in fact, it'll go like over. So then I'll just cut around it. You can do your printables like that. Then she had all these others. These are from um, Stacy at Wilshire Collections. And she even gives you the size of them. So their size, according to, and you get a piece of wood that size. This would be a four by six, which this probably is the exact size of the palette or your four by six canvases. She gives you the size. And then you just upload these to your computer and then you print them out on regular paper. This one is a five by five, which it would be a little bit, it could be done because we could blend it in and let the white blend in. Um, but this is like a five and a half by five and a half, but you still could use this one. This is a four by four and then this is just a background. But she has so many of them. You get like six pages that are really cute. This is one I resized and it was a little bit too small. This is one I think I'm gonna use. It says it's for uh, a five by, five by five. And I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna tear it around the edges. Cause, but then this one could be used too. That's like the full size. Now, I have a few more that um, and I don't know, I'm not sure yet which ones I'm going to send in the thank you gift, but you'll get several printables. This is one for fall. This is what stays, no, this I think I got from, um, off of Etsy. I can't think of her name, but, but I mean, cute, cute designs is what I'm saying. This is from Stacy's collection last fall. You could put it on the canvas. You could do the whole thing. You could cut them out, use them individually. And then this, I think, was a freebie. It says, uh, thankful, grateful, blessed. I don't think that one was Stacy's, but I just wanted to show you some examples. These were Stacy's printables. And like I said, if you have a program that you can resize, you can make them as small or as big as you want to. And Stacy, anything purchased in October of last year for, to now, you can use to sell. I don't think she had her license to do that on anything before that. But then there's, this one's a smaller one, and then give thanks always. These are just beautiful colors. But that's just kind of a sample. Um, but printables can be used all different ways. And I'm gonna take this one and I'm just gonna come up kind of high right at the edge of the flag. And then I'm just gonna come around because you could put it on there flat if you wanted to, but I'm, I'm not going to. See, using the paper, normally you would not have to paint the board. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I'll, I'll just tear it. And you just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just guess. Just kind of a circle is what I want. <laughs> I feel like I'm in kindergarten. But you can do some really cute home decor with printables. And it looks like you have painted. Uh, same thing with transfers. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna talk about transfers where you take like the stick and push them down on your painted board and it looks Looks like you've painted it. Okay, I'll make this a little bit smaller. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You could be precise, Ed would have been. You could turn it over, take your pencil and draw around it and then cut a perfect circle. But I Take didn't. a protractor and make a perfect. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want perfect. Okay, so 
close enough. You know, you could take the decorative scissors. You can do whatever you want to do. Crafting is just what you like. All right, so. And then this is just going to be a, uh, just something to lean up on the mantle or something like that. And then when 4th of July is over, I'll take it and just pull this printable off, sand it down and repaint it and reuse it. Uh, you could do the other side. See, this could be done. You could paint the edge of the frame red. And then you could tear this to where, see that it would fit here in the center. You could do that too. Just tear off a little bit more. That would be cute. But I've already painted the front, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to just put Mod Podge around the, kind of in the middle. Do y'all have any questions about the printables? I see, um, I'm glad y'all are talking to each other. Carrie was, is that you talking about cleaning up your class? Your, craft or room. reorganizing her craft room. Oh gosh, I need to reorganize my she shed. So you don't have to be perfect with this. Number one, it's not going to stay as a decor for very long. Of course, if you know if you're selling it, you want to be a little more careful and, and make it to last. I'm not worried about making it to last. I have a squeegee thing here. Carrie says she needs a she warehouse. <laughs> a she warehouse. That's a good idea. <laughs> I just start from the middle and come out. And then I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and just get these edges, just so they'll make sure they stick and that they'll blend. And I did print these out a few days ago, well, probably a week or so ago. I wouldn't print them out and then immediately put them on and put anything liquid over the top of them because you want that ink to be dry. I know my ink on my paper is dry. And I just have a regular um, inkjet printer. And you could put a bow on the top of this. Yeah, I'm ready to watch carry some more. She made some really cute things. Okay, now we're going to kind of let that dry for a minute, and then I'm going to kind of go around it with the white paint. And like I said, it's just something to set with everything else. Now we're going to take our flag, and I'm going to use the sandpaper that I couldn't remember what to call it. And first we're just going to do, always go down and away from you and get that napkin off around the edges. These little palettes are really cute. Um, if your Dollar Tree has them, Pick up a couple of them because they can be used for a lot of different things. I am you actually when I get this done, I'll show you how. Um, whoever I watched, it was either Barb or her sister. Uh, do it. They made a box. I'll show you how they did that. So that gets my edges. But what they did, I haven't done the middle yet. They took them and they fit them together like this and she well I think she went to the outside she just put them you know together like this and then I or else she went in either way you did it but she had four of them and she made a little box and then she put a flower in the middle that was really cute okay now 
the sandpaper is too big, so somewhere I have a nail file. There it is. Actually, there's two, uh, three of them on here. These are just nail files I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So then you're going to go in between. That's why you want to make sure, and this will just kind of give it that look. Try to go in between and down on both sides. I actually cheated on my other one because I wanted it rustic. Oh, now see, I ripped the napkin there because I went across like this. I'm just gonna put a little more Mod Podge. Um, I didn't want this one to look rustic, but I will show you a little thing that you can do. But you want to make sure this is good and dry because you'll pull up your napkin just like I did right there. Before you sand it. Um, and it's real hard not to go like sideways. It's better to go down, just go up in between there on both sides. Thank goodness the napkin is real, real easy to, to, you know, get off. I actually use the, the candle lighter, like a, um, uh, can, uh, the lighter. Barbecue lighter. Well, I actually used a smaller one, and I'd like, uh, this one I burned. See where I went through there, and I burned the, and I'm going to show you that method used on a flower in a couple of weeks. Uh, but that's how I did that one, because I didn't care if it had the burnt look to it. That just gave it more character. This one I wanted to try to keep white, so I'm just going to be a little more cautious with it and just try to do it from the bottom down. Ed's either looking at something else on Facebook or he's very interested in what y'all are talking about. Nobody's talking, I'm just making sure I hadn't missed it. <laughs> He's probably on eBay trying to buy something. No, he's probably on the SPCA website hunting him a dog. You know, we lost both of our dogs, and he's wanting another dog, and I'm not ready for a dog. Not yet. You better get ready. No. But hey, I have caught him on the SPCA website looking at dogs. I want to find one that's potty trained where I don't have to do it. Yep, because I ain't gonna. Although, you ain't going to either because we're not getting one that's not already housebroken. Because I know who would end up doing it most of the time. Cleaning up that. All right, I will tell you the lighter was a whole lot easier. And I'm not sure I would use um, regular printer paper where you wanted the openings this wide. I think it would take you a while. Yeah, Marie said you don't think you're ready, but when you get one, you realize how much you miss the companionship. Yeah, probably so. I just honestly, we had two dogs for so long, and it's not easy to have two dogs. We had a German short hair and a uh, dachshund. Yeah, and they both were very expensive. The German short hair, we've had him 
what, a year maybe, six months, and he came down with um, heartworms. So we had to go through that treatment with him, which is how he became an inside dog. Because with heartworms, you know, they can't, they can't run. They're real active dogs. You have to keep All them right. inside. Them. I did mess up my napkin right there. But y'all get the idea. That, that right up there is not dry still. So it's not, it's not done totally. So make sure that before you sand it or anything, cause see I took off part of the thing there. But I just wanted you to see the difference in, this is painted, this is not. So it's a totally different look. If you've got the rustic vintage, um, everything, like this would look really cute with the pillow that we made, cause it's kind of a vintage. And then that one is just the uh, red, white, and blue normal. Okay, now that I've totally made a mess. I Here, should be yeah, there. Marie said she understands, been there. They had, she had two beagles, and she Ooh. said she really missed them. Yeah. But, you know, if, when you want to travel, um, it's hard, to, and it's expensive to leave your dog somewhere. And when you've got two, I mean, we went to Alabama and it was nothing for us to come home and owe the vet, you know, between three and $400. Okay, on this one, I'm going to just kind of take the white and just kind of go around the edges just a little bit, just to, so it'll blend a little bit more. You could even you could even do that in a different color because it's kind of making lines because I left my paintbrush there and it got. Carrie said, Carrie said I took them with me if I couldn't take them um, I didn't go. Well, yeah, we never want to take them when we go to family's house and stuff because little kids and. It's just easier to travel without them. Okay, but that, I mean, that gives you an idea of what you can do with principles. You could definitely have taken this and um, put it where it fit the whole thing or enlarged it. That looks like a, but from the top I'm seeing a line. Okay, or you could have enlarged it to where it fit this whole board. Um, cut small like that, it would, it would fit one of the smaller boards for a tear tray really nice but um, we'll do some more printables as we get into a different season but um, I just wanted to make you aware and like I said you can go on Etsy there's a lot of people that sell printables and you just and they're like $1.99 you know and you print it out as many times as you want to um, just check if, if you plan to sell it, be sure it's for commercial use. Sometimes you might pay a little extra to get the commercial use license, but if you're just making it for uh, decor for your home to prop up somewhere or to put an adobo or a tear tray, you know, on a table with some flowers, you know, now that it's summer, there's a whole lot of pretty summer flowers and stuff out there. Did you ever see Nancy come on? I've been watching. Okay, she um, she may watch the replay. So um, I will reach out to her and let her know that she's going to be getting those houses. So tonight, uh, like I said, your, I'm not sure which printables I'm going to send, but I'll send quite a few of them and you can do what you want to with them. But here was the, the big 8x10 that we did. And I probably will get my vintage, just so it's not stark white against this. I, I'll just rub it along the edges to kind of darken it a little bit to where it's more of a vintage look too. But um, that that's it for tonight. And just put in the hashtag printables if you're interested in getting this. And we will be back on a regular Monday. We will draw. So it will just be for this particular live. 
but uh, you don't have to be on live. Like I said, you can still do it if you're watching the replay. Next Monday, I'll go back and get all the different responses. So um, that's it for tonight. I'm going to let y'all go, and I'm going to clean up this mess. And um, y'all have a great weekend, and stay cool, because it's supposed to be really, really hot everywhere, I think. So y'all stay cool, and I will see you Monday, and we've got one more week. <clears throat> I've got a couple of little um, crafts for you for the 4th of July, and then we're going to move on into some summer stuff. So we will see you next Monday at 6 o'clock. Thanks for watching.